Dave, let me ask you a question. And I appreciate your honesty. You've been very cool with us and cooperative and everything else. Are you a heartless bastard? Uh-huh. A heartless coal bastard? No. No. Okay. So you wouldn't want people to think that about you, right? That you're just a heartless coal bastard, right? No, I don't. Okay. There, there's some pieces missing to your story, Dave. And, and, and this, why we had you write this out, is the key. Welcome to AMC Investigations. We put out multiple videos every single week, so make sure you're subscribed. I would like to thank all of you for watching and all of our members. You are truly appreciated. Okay, enough rambling. Let's get into it. So many officers, everybody she knows, her friends, family, none of them has seen her face or talked to her in over a month. September 2015, Akron, Ohio. This is Kim Freitag. Her mother, Martha Robin Freitag, has been missing for roughly a month. There's a messages yesterday. A message was sent to her brother saying, oh, her phone can get messages. No calls, though. It won't load minutes. So I was sending her messages from her mother's phone saying, this is your daughter. I want to know where you're at. Oh, I'm at the Kingdom Hall in Kent with friends. I said, okay, stay there. I'm coming right now. Oh, I'm not there. You don't know where I am. Well, you just said you were there. Where are you? Well, I'm eating now. Then there's a post on fa the Messenger. All of her, the way she types is completely different. She says she's angry at the family, which he knows that... She, you know, is estranged with all of us. She still talks to her brother all the who, time. Who is she to you? Hey, my, She's my mother. That's her okay. boyfriend. But I don't You're know right. if he's... Do you have a key to the house? No. Does anybody have a key? No. Because that's a problem. We've been out here. We were out here earlier. There's no mail. The, the trash was taken out. The neighbor said there's a lady that lives there by herself. The guy that was going to the yard. He said the guy doesn't live here anymore. Well, he, I just watched him walk out yesterday. No, he shouldn't be. Okay. There was a big dispute over this house. But the issue is we were, we were pounding on the door earlier and no one answered. And we didn't have enough right. to kick the door in and go look for her. But well, it's it, been long enough. He should not be here. She owns this property. Mm -hmm. If I need to break in here with you guys here, and if she's gonna, if you think she'll press charges on me, that's fine. I want to know what happened to her. She's not going to press charges on me. That's not the problem. And she, and she has... Mental Ill, illness. Yes, she does. Is but she, she is. Do you know if she's taking her meds? No, I don't know. But I do know that she does not do this kind of thing. Okay. And it's like the babysitter that babysat me my whole childhood. She keeps in contact with her. No, she hasn't heard from her or seen her. The call but we got from earlier was someone that said they haven't talked to her since July. Yes, the end of July. The last time that was her sister-in-law in Florida. Okay. Last time she sent me anything was August first. When's the last time you talked to her? Talked to her was the end of July. I actually heard and her you voice. Live locally here? Where do you live? Yes, but I was in Florida when I talked to her. I live in Cuyahoga Falls. So when was the last time you know somebody talked to her for sure? The end of July. What, I, I'm the 26th was the last you read message. The Briars? Mm -hmm. CSS has been out here. And yeah. No response. Well, what we would like to do without breaking in is go in and walk through the house make sure she's not in there or that she's okay. I would too, but he's leaving all the time. And then there's another woman a few weeks back. I have no idea who this woman is. She obviously knows my mother and him mutually, whatever. They're, I don't know who she is. But weeks and weeks ago, she sent a message. I, where's your mother at? I don't know where she is. And I, you know, I've been trying to get a hold of her. And David said that she went to Florida with you. No, she didn't go to Florida with me. Then she said, today... That David said that my mother's father had died, my grandfather. He's telling everybody, he's coming up with these stories to everybody at where she's at. And now he's got her phone, back minutes on it or whatever, and he can use Facebook from it, but get on her account, and he can send messages, but oh, nobody can answer the phone. Can't hear her voice though. Mm -hmm. I mean, it, what would you like to do today, I guess? I'd like to get in there and see if because he was selling so, her stuff on the so, front lawn. so let me ask you this she has is it schizophrenia yes does anybody have like power of attorney over her or anything no. like that 
and down at uh, CSS they said the last, um, what is it, release of information stuff she did for me was in 2016. So that was too long ago. So they can't give you any information? No. But the social worker did sit there right in front of me, call every single hospital there was. I went to down to Summit County Jail and asked if she was there. Every well, hospital... That no, that was last week I went to Summit County Jail. No, and yesterday when they called all the hospitals? No, that was last week too. I went down there because this yesterday when I went down there, they wouldn't speak to me at all. But she does not, she's not angry at all these people, you know, all, everybody she knows. My ex-babysitter, uh, she's saying these messages, which I know are from him, saying that he, she is with Jehovah's Witnesses and whatnot. I know a mutual witness that she says, too. She could, absolutely all communication stopped whatsoever. What's your concern? That he killed her. Clearly, Kim is very suspicious of David Callahan, who is seemingly staying in her mother's house and coming up with all kinds of stories as to why she cannot be reached. After numerous attempts to contact her from numerous agencies were unsuccessful, an anonymous text message led to the family searching in the backyard. There, they found some loose dirt and started to dig. What they uncovered was the likely remains of Martha Freitag. Gentlemen? You tell me. Uh, well, good deal. Highly suspicious. Seems like a body part. But we didn't want to dig it out anymore until you guys got here? Yeah. 41. Um, but I think, I think you know, all Was of us it? would want to dug out a little Go bit ahead, more before you guys can say. 41, you got me. Yeah, we'll yeah, that's about let's it. check. Uh, was it dug out when you guys yeah, got here? that guy. That's it. What made him, did he say what made him start digging? Yeah, he gave the whole story to the other officer and us. But uh, she, she, he's a friend of hers. She's family. Okay. This one that's walking yeah, here? Yeah, walking there. Yeah. Yeah. And... She got an anonymous tech saying if this guy who you guys have arrested recently, okay, okay um, that if you wanted to get rid of somebody, who would bury it back here by the fence. Oh. So she came back and saw this loose dirt, this yeah. ash, and, and they say that this, guy to come over and help her. And they say this gentleman is already arrested. Yeah, that's what they're, both of those two people are telling. All right. All right. Well, me, that's the sus, that's the one. This is the, the wife missing person that they think it is. And that guy's arrested. It was a suspect in that. Was this her husband? Did they say? I don't know if they were her husband wife. Because I know she had a protection order against one. Okay. He was he, he was staying here. Yeah. She went missing. He was staying here. They uh, they've been on and off. I've been out here a couple times where she had a protection order, but it goes back and forth because then she yeah. invites right. him back over. Over and okay. it, stuff like that. So uh, let me go talk to these guys real quick and then we'll let you know what, yeah, just what's going on. Now, David Callahan was Martha's on again, off again boyfriend for roughly 15 or 16 years. And here he tells police that Martha usually stays at her boyfriend's house, whom he has no idea who he is or where he lives. This story is clearly different than what David is telling everyone else. Acker, please, just come outside. How you doing? Is Martha here? No, uh, she's probably at her boyfriend's house. What's your name, bud? David. David. Callahan. David Callaghan? All right, come on down here for me. Just have a seat if you would. Why do you think she's at her boyfriend's house? Oh, well, that's where she stays most of the time. Where's that at? I don't know. I don't even know who it is, what? really. I mean, Are you the only one here? I'm in the dog. Yeah. You and the dog? I mean, she's here maybe a couple times a week anymore. I mean, we've Probably. actually been split up for a year. We've been in separate bedrooms for the last year. You know I mean? Let me get your social real quick. Um, uh, she's schizophrenic. She's been off her medication, on and off her medication. I don't know how many times. You know, what I mean, everything's top secret. Her, uh, I guess her and her daughter's fighting again. Six oh four to computer. So. Well, that's part of the reason we're out here, because no one in her family's talked to her since July. I don't know how. I know, I know she's texted her. No, she a hasn't. Times. She has another phone besides that. Uh, it's nice. Well, who, who, nice who are you getting texts from? Huh? Who are you getting texts from? I'm, her? She had, no, she hasn't. I mean, I see her very randomly here. 
uh, the house is in her name. We got the house eight years ago. Right. I mean, I'm making arrangements to move off slow, but sure, I just, I just don't have the money. You right. I mean, uh, I'm trying to. Uh, like I said, I, I know she's seen somebody else. I've, I've dated. What's his name? I don't even know. I've never met him. Where does he live at? I don't know. I have no idea. What Does he live in Akron? I would think so. You would think so. But you don't know. No, I don't. Is I she don't in know. Ohio? Yeah, as far as I know, yes. When's the last time you talked to her? I don't know, probably. Say five, six days ago, maybe. Where was that at? I was here. She I stopped see, up I here? I see her passing. I was leaving. She was, you know, the remains were found in the backyard while David was being jailed for unrelated charges, so detectives bring him in for questioning regarding what they found. Here is the full interrogation of David Callahan, but first, let us have a moment of silence for the victim in this case. Marks. Um, we got our, our bosses are mad at us about not making any progress on this missing person report. So we, I know you talked to Sergeant Ross a little bit. Here's water for you. Um, we want actually to freezing. I'm sorry. Freezing. You're freezing. I have severe rheumatoid arthritis. Any bit of coldness. I've been in that back in the cell. I don't know how long. It's cold. That's why I'm shivering. Okay. Well, I'm well, unfortunately, we can't do anything. We don't. We don't adjust the heat. That's done by. It should be warmer down here than it is up there, though. Yeah, absolutely. It does. Do you drink tea? Would that help? No. Oh, all, right. all right. Well, I got your water. I'm sorry you're cold. I, I can't do much about that. This is a miserable ass building. To be honest with you. Um. It's either hot or cold or somewhere in between. So, um, what day did you get? Well, what day, uh, what day did you get booked? I want to say the 7th or 8th. 7th? Something like that. Okay. What, is just some chicken shit misdemeanor warrant or something? Yeah, I was supposed to do 30 days house arrest a while back for driving and I didn't do it. They don't like it when you don't do their house arrest. Right. Them judges, man, they get black road disease. And... Uh, Rob and the one that's missing, she had a restraining order on me. Well, she put one on during that process, and, you know, I couldn't do it there, and I was basically homeless. Oh, okay. And I just made some poor decisions. Uh, to, you know, <laughs> we all do. How to go about it, so. Um, well, again, we just want to get some background information on this. Um, I think Sergeant Ross talked to you once. Yeah. Um, like I said, our bosses are kind of like, why aren't, where, are you guys making any progress on this? Have you done anything in that? And so we saw Sergeant Ross's notes, and then I saw that you were in the county. Well, I think he found that. But anyway, um, so we're just trying to make some headway on it. Um, and since you're in orange, I'm going to read um, your rights to you, just because you're obviously chained up and not really free to go since you're serving on your contempt over there, on your driving or whatever. So. So, Robin, would you consider, were you guys like boyfriend, girlfriend? Yeah, we've been together since 2002. Okay, a long time. It is a long time. <sighs> I mean, we planned on getting married two years ago and just started arguing over little stuff. She's schizophrenic. Okay. You know, she goes on and off her medication. It's like one of them things. I don't know if you've ever dealt with schizophrenic. Well, through work. Uh, you know, once they get something set in their mind, that's how it is. And, you know, I would, I would have to leave numerous times, you know, just to diffuse the situation. Oh, um, she, she was diagnosed and had a doctor and, and oh, everything? Yeah, yeah, she, she, yeah, she was on disability long before I ever met her. Oh, okay. 2002. Right. Did she go to, like, CSS or anything? Or? 
Not as much as she probably should. Okay. I know she was years ago. Uh, now I think it's every few months. Okay. Um, so when was the last time you actually s s talked to her? It was the beginning of last month. August? I want to say, yeah. Beginning of August, do you think? Third or the fourth. Do you remember where that was? I was at the house. Okay. So, I mean, she said, she told me she was going to Florida for a couple weeks. I wasn't home. I mean, she called me. I was working that day. I mean, I, I worked very limited, maybe a couple days a month. What kind of work do you do? Uh, I help a plumber. Okay. The plumber's labor. Like I said, so I wish I could do plumbing. A couple, couple days a month. Is about it. So you talked to her on the phone August 3rd or 4th. So I didn't see, she had a restraining order against you? A TPO yeah, or a CPO? Eight, it's a temporary one. TPO? But it lasted like six months, I think. Did you get arrested? Because you... No, it, here's, here's, the, here's the thing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, explain she's, that. You know, she's called the cops on me a half a dozen times. And I've never raised a hand to her. She's never had a scratch on her. Any, any report you, you would read will tell you the same thing. You know? She, she gets mad and I leave. She thinks I'm out humping everything with a pulse out there that's female. You know, that's, that's just what, you know, why she originally got mad at me. You know, she just wanted to argue all the time. And I just, you know, I just felt, you know, leaving for a day or two at a time, you know, would just calm everything down. And it normally did. I mean, we've always worked things on, but I don't understand why she's not back around. I, I really don't. You know, they said she didn't go to Florida. That's, I mean, I'm sick. Well, who, I mean, I don't, who said that? Uh, her daughter. Okay. Because I've talked to her daughter twice. Okay. Um, well, I was trying to, I was trying, okay. Yeah, that's fine. I was trying, I was just kind of thinking chronologically, I guess that's a byproduct of police work. So, so, Back to August third or fourth, you talked to her on the phone. Were you like, I mean, were you staying there then, or no? Yeah. Okay, you were. But you said she I had mean, this just, order about. It. That's just to be honest, I mean, uh, please. I was, I was still staying there through some of the restraining order because I, I have no okay. go. I have no family. Sure, I understand. Uh, but I don't, if you didn't, if she, if you didn't get arrested for domestic violence or something, I don't know that you really had an order against you. Yeah, I, I know I did. Oh. Because I mean, I went to court for it. Okay. Uh, I can't remember which it was next to the common police thing. They, they couldn't serve me the papers because they didn't have right. an address. Okay. So it was you know, probably a CPO because um, that's a common police thing. But you wouldn't know the difference between that. No. So. I, I'm, I've, never had, I've never dealt with anything like that. So when you talked to her the third or fourth, she told you she was going to Florida? Yeah. She said her dad, he, he's supposedly been dying for the last couple of years. No. Do you know his I'm name? Robert. Robert. Uh, and, that was the, and that was the last time you ever talked to her. Did you know that this video was already available on our Patreon? And this case and many other cases will have lots of extras for you on our Patreon as well. Not only is it a great way to support the channel, you will get a lot of exclusive and early content as well. We have a free trial over there, so make sure you check us out. The link is below. Okay, back to the video. She said she was going. No, forward. well, I mean, a couple weeks later, she was back at the house once. Okay. Uh, I know she was dating somebody else. Who it was, I have no idea. I mean, I, uh, somebody picked her up a couple different times. That's what I told the other detective I talked to days ago. You know who it is? I have no idea. Okay. She was back at the house. I mean, stay in there? I mean, it's her house, right? It's your house yeah. together. Yeah, we've had the house for about eight or nine years. My, my sister finances us on the house. Your sister's the, the owner? I'm sorry, yeah, is that what you le said? legally, yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, we had a separate contract with her, okay. you know, after so many years. Uh, so, I mean, the, the agreement was it was going to be put in Robin's name. Okay. Uh, then a couple weeks later, you said she was back at the house, but I mean, did she stay there? Or you just... I, I, I seen her 
a day or two periodically. Uh, I mean, I can't even give you any dates really because it, you know. But if she was back from Florida, don't I mean? I'm just. It seems. I'm sorry. It seemed to me that she would be staying. I mean, she doesn't have any place. Like you said, you don't have any place to go. She don't have any place to go, right? Wouldn't well, she? Be apparently, apparently she does. Uh, you know, like I said, I know she was dating somebody else. I mean, it was it was a given. You know, we just felt well, it was that time. You know, date date other people, see how it works out. I mean, we've we've had problems over the years. Like I said, we've been together since 2002. Sure. You know, every, everybody has their problems. You know, yeah, problems. everyone's got problems. That's for damn sure. So then, I guess your theory is, Dave, that she's staying with whoever she's dating, this new person, then, not and not at the house. Is that what you're right. saying? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, and I, I believe she's relapsed on you know back to smoke crack again. Because you know, I found a paraphernalia at the house. I mean, I'm no saint. I smoke a little bit once in a while. Yeah. I mean, we both did the crack thing, but we we gave it up six years ago. I think probably every other person in America smokes weed. <clears throat> I think maybe well, I should start when I retire. Especially if you got arthritis and everything. <laughs> that's what my. Uh, Pain management doctor told me. Sure. Because uh, after they got stricter on all that, I couldn't be on the pain management. So you said you had talked to her daughter a couple of times? Yeah. Um, uh, Amy, right? Kim. Kim, I'm sorry, Kim. Kim. She, I, I don't suppose you guys get along too well, probably, huh? No, we never <laughs> did. You know, Robin yeah. being schizophrenic. Right. Though it didn't sound uh, like her and Kim had some problems, too. Absolutely. I mean, they would go months on end without speaking to each other. It was at one point, you know, Robin didn't even have a phone number to talk to her mom and dad or her for periods of time. Yeah, no, I, you're, you're, you're absolutely true. I, I, um, I, I sense they had some hard times now and then, and it sounded like she communicated with her a lot through her Facebook Messenger. She, you know, she was taken away as a child when... I don't know how old Kim was. I wasn't with Robin then. Sure. She never let Robin forget that or forgive her for it. You okay. know what I mean? It was one of them just hateful type relationships. Sure. Every time she come around is when Robin offered her money. Mm -hmm. But you, I thought you said, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, that, that, she, that she had told you that Robin was back from Florida? No. I, no. I knew. Oh. Go ahead. I assume she was back. Okay. Because it was, I mean, it was a two week period. I didn't hear from her. Okay. Through, uh, I guess but, it would have been August. Okay. But then you did hear from her, Robin. Yeah. I mean, I didn't, I hadn't, haven't been spending much time at the house. Just, you know. Do you remember her cell phone number, Robin? 330 962. Two six three zero. Oh. And how about yours? Oh. Uh, mine's on the property at the county right now. What's your number? Two three four eight one seven four one seven seven. Do you have the same contract or service you two, or is it? Separate? No, hers is. I guess what they call it a bond phone. Uh, sure, government safe phone. link. Whatever. Safe link. Whatever some bullshit. Not sure. What how, kind of how about yours? I I got mine through Walmart. Okay. I mean, I buy, well, I buy a phone card every month yeah. when I can afford it. Sure. It's not a bad way to go, really. Um, so do you remember communicating with Robin via phone or text after she would have ostensibly been back from Florida? I've seen her at the house once or twice. Okay. She did some laundry. Like I said, I was just here last couple months just trying to keep the peace, actually. Okay. You know, I haven't Has, spent much time there. Okay. Has anyone else told you about seeing her or anything about her activities or where she else she might have been or anything? No. Not at all. I, mean, I wasn't aware there was any kind of problem, you know, until... Right. Uh, well, they, yeah, I mean, it's, 
the family call. I mean, they, they're the ones who... Especially communicating with her family, because Kim said we haven't heard from her in a month. And I didn't think too much about it, because, I mean, they've gone months, six months, without talking to her. So I really didn't think a whole lot about it. I mean, I, like I said, at one time, she didn't even have phone numbers for anybody in the family. Yeah, I guess I, I, yeah. I, you know, that's just how they've treated her. So yeah. I don't... It's how, like I said, well, I think Kim said they mostly communicate through Facebook Messenger. Um, yeah, but when Kim needs something or sure, wants sure, some money, sure. you know, um, because you know, at, the, at the end of the day, she's an addict as well as you know, anybody you ever meet. Um, does it. Did you have a? Uh, did you have a dog? Yeah. But did, yeah, we got him from the rescue shelter. Okay. Did you send someone by the house to get the dog or something? Yeah. We were out there, some neighbor mentioned something about somebody getting a dog. And I didn't know if it was you or if it was because you were in jail. Yeah, uh, I sent somebody to get the dog. Because um, I, I didn't think the judge was going to slam me like that. I mean, she didn't even give me a chance to who, explain. Who was it, your judge? I can't even remember the name now. <laughs> Um, Sorry. <laughs> no, no, really? I'm mad at you, man. Is it was the uh, dark hair, or light hair? I want to say dark hair. Michael. Michaels. Yeah, Sorry. Michael. Well, it's people say it Michaels, but it's not, there's no S. It's yeah, Michael. I, I think maybe that's glasses, it. kind of skinny. Yeah. That's like you know, I'm guilty of not doing it. Can I explain? And she's like, No, we're done. Slams the folder shut. Thirty days. Sounds like her. Gets up and walks out. <laughs> it sounds and, like her. You know, I've been in the county since. <laughs> um, her uh, Robin's Facebook page is just her name, right? You know how you know how Facebook works. Are you on Facebook? Barely. I mean, it's, <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah. I, okay. They they call smartphones. Sure. I don't feel too smart when I'm trying to you know get on it. I mean, I I got my own little thing on there. I, I know okay. she does. Okay. Uh, it took me forever just to figure it out. Sure. I mean, I just got my first smartphone less than a year ago, actually. Uh, so, you, so I was just had, I never had really no use for it. You right. Know, as long as I could make and receive calls, that was fine. But you vaguely know how to post something. Believe me, I'm no Facebook expert either, man. My wife's on there all goddamn day. But nothing else that uh, anyone has said anything to you or anything like that? No, or nothing? like I said, I didn't even think there was any inkling of a problem or anything. Even after I talked to Kim, you know, she said, because the last time I, I was, I had seen Robin that day, the day I seen Kim was on, I want to say, the third or the fourth. Uh, I was like, she told me she had a doctor's appointment. That was it. I haven't talked to her or Kim since. You know, I've been in here for, I don't know, a week or so. Now. I don't know. I, don't know. I lose track of time in there. A week. Uh, Nine, so seven. A week. What is today? Fourteenth. Yeah. Yeah. It's been a week. So. <clears throat> I mean, tomorrow's her birthday. Is it? Oh, uh, yeah, it is. Yeah, I, I couldn't remember the other detective's name. He gave me his card. Ross. I, I, I lost his card. And sure. I, I paid for work to do community service when I got out of this little mess because they switched me from cell to cell to cell. And sure. I don't. Even, I have no information at all on anything. Right now. You know, Tomorrow is your birthday. You I can't right. think of uh, you know who she'd be staying with. You know, I mean, she told me she was. Uh, dating somebody else. Mm -hmm. I didn't think it was anything serious. So you guys have been together 16 years? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Never had a kid yourself, though, huh? No. Uh, you like I said, we, we, you know, we've had arguments and little spats. Well, so we, 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 we've always, we've always you've worked. You've been together 16 years, you're going to have an argument yeah. about something. I, I don't know. I just I don't understand what's going on now. I really don't. Why she's not around. Or, you know, right. I, no, I, I, I know when they get mad at each other, that's more hard-headed family, right? As far as communicating, but well, you know, when my mom passed last year, you know, I have no family. Sure, I, mean, I, I don't. I have nobody. 
Um, yeah, 16 years is a long time, no doubt. No other word on the street or nothing that was odd, huh, Dave? No. All right, well, um, I mean, did she have a beef with anybody? Or did she ever tell you that she had it out and somebody was mad at her or anything like that? Did she owe anybody money or anything? Or, I mean, I mean, she could possibly have maybe owed buddy for dope or something. Like I said, I, yeah. I, found, I found a crack pipe, you know, in the house, uh, blue, because we, you know, we both quit doing it six, seven years ago. You know, we was both bad on it. You ever talk to your neighbor next door, the burned down house guy, whatever his name is? Oh, Marvin. Mar I call him Weirdsley because that's one creepy guy. Yeah, but he has like a fucking PhD or something, doesn't he? He has yeah, like a, that, that whole he's too, situation. He's too smart for, he can't function, I guess, huh? No, I don't know, just the way that whole fire and everything happened. I mean, I tried to get in there and save his mom, and he just stood there and basically did nothing. Hmm. I mean, I practically got killed. I mean, it, the fire, the pressure blew me out the side door. If you see the house, there's not, oh, well, we there's not even steps on the side door. I, I ended up getting hmm. another hernia over the, the whole deal. You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, well, good. Thank you for trying. I mean, that was a decent, super decent thing of you to try to do. Yeah, that house just, is in bad shape. I guess they're going to tear it down or something in a couple yeah, weeks. Yeah, because, I mean, I'm really not a cop caller, but, I mean, I've, I've sent police over there probably a half dozen times doing welfare checks on the, you know, her name was Trudy. She was our neighbor for eight years. You know, I, I, I couldn't get in the house to get to her. Uh, I mean, basically, I listened to her screaming my name for help. You know, she burned up. Oh, that's terrible. And, uh, it just it still must have been. But, I, mean, I, don't, I don't know what else to say about Rama. I just, you know, she's got her boyfriend. I, I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> so your sister, her sister, your sister's owner, your sister's owner, her sister. Right. House. Now, a couple months ago, it was supposed to have been switched into Robin's name, which I believe it was. Well, I mean, because she was, she was worried she wanted her grandson to have a house and I was going to fight her on it. Oh. And I was like, no, I have nobody to leave it to. I guess I where I family. was going with that was, do you guys pay rent? She still makes the house payment to... But do you pay, pay her, her or, does, or does Robin pay? Do you guys pay rent? Robin, Robin pays oh. the actual payment to my sister because me and my sister pay him don't speak. Oh, okay. You know, so right. over so Robin years, pays the bill. How does she do that, do you know? I want to say uh, probably a money order. Money think, order? Because I don't think she has a checking account. Um, um, and what's your sister's name again? I'm sorry, the one that... Pam. Pam. And you guys don't get along? No, nah, well, you know, it's just um, her and my other sisters, her and my other sisters. I don't really like my well. sister, I must be honest. I mean, they just verbally and emotionally treated my mom horribly okay. over the years. And it's one of those things that was unacceptable. Okay. And I mean, I quit working and dropped everything I had and moved in to take care of my mom. You know, she moved in, or until she passed. So do you know if the rent got paid in September for the house or August? I believe it. Did because if not, you know, somebody had been over there beating on the door. Okay, well, I mean, she would do that. Your oh, sister, yeah, absolutely. If she didn't get I her mean, money. she, I mean, she has my number, not that she's called it lately. Uh, okay, and they'll pay it. And I, I paid the utilities, and it just kind of worked out pretty much, you know, half and half like that. Sometimes. It'd be a little more on my part or a little more on her part, but they never really, you know, they never would dive each other like that. That was fun. You think of anything, Dan? Yeah, you said something about you guys been together since 2002. Have you ever met her parents before? Yeah, I have done work on their house. Oh, and you know where they live? Uh, if I was to have to drive over there again, I mean, it's been probably four or five years since I've been over there. It's on Issaquah Street and Cog okay. Falls. Cog Falls. It's, on, it's off of North Moreland right there. Okay. Do they have a second home? Yeah, they, they've lived in Florida for, uh, I don't know, I want to say the same amount of time. 
at least four or five years. Okay. So they, they got a house out in Florida too. Yeah. That's but her daughter Kim stays in the house that they've had up here. Right. To my understanding, she still does. I never really got along too well with Kim. Okay. With Robin, I haven't seen her. Have you been, just been staying at the Kraus house the whole time since August? Pretty much, yeah. Pretty much. Have you stayed anywhere else? Uh, no, not really. Okay. Yeah, so been, well, every night you stayed there? I wouldn't say exactly every night, okay. but uh, for the most part, yeah. Oh, you got the dog to take care of. Yeah. You can't leave a dog for a dog can't feed itself, can't cook itself. And stuff. No, he's a he's a lab great thing. He's 140 pounds. Oh gosh. He's practically eats he eats us out of house and home anyway. Yeah. But, uh, um I just, you know, they said she didn't go to Florida. I, I don't know. Does anybody else stay with you guys? Or you had any years with years you? and years ago, we used to help people out, but lately, no. A lot uh, of problem, a lot. Of yeah, it's, it's just ends up uh, ruining friendships. Uh, you know, not in the last couple of years, we haven't had anybody. All right. So you, no bills has access to the house, or no? Uh, I told Randy where my spare key was to get the dog. And like I said, that was the day when I got booked into jail. Okay. I was like, can you go, please go over and take care of my dog. Because, uh, you know, at that point, you know, is she going to be back today, next week? I don't know. You know, that's why I sent him over there you know, to uh, take care of the dog. I, I don't know if he took him to his house or he's going over there every day to... But we knocked on the door. We didn't hear any barking. Oh, uh, he won't bark. No, okay. <laughs> No, it's, he's a pitiful dog. He's all right. <laughs> Bark's the last thing he'll probably do. Um, so nobody else stayed with you there. Your buddy Randy came and got the dog. Yeah. Uh, you guys got your cell phones. Is there a house number that we could get a hold of you guys? If uh, Do you guys have a house phone? She got one, and then she had it shut off. Okay, when was that? Cable. That was, well, I want to say, three months ago. I have no clue what the number is. What it was, I never even called it. It was only on for a couple of weeks. I don't even know why she got it to begin yeah, with. I think cable. it was part of the cable deal, you know, to get cable TV. Uh, had the bundle thing. Get a the bundle. bundle. The bundle to get you. Bullshit. Yeah, we had to. But you still have cable? No, it shut off. Cable's too expensive. Yeah, it's $100 a month. I, that's why I told her, I was like, I don't even know why you're getting it. Cause I got one, I got some, I got an antenna to where I bought it at Home Depot. I get 30 some channels for free, mm -hmm. you know, which is fine with me. I don't even know why she did it. No, I'm sure you grew up just, just antenna TV anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, know, I'm, I'm 52, I, yeah, cable's the biggest scam around. Right? Three, five, and eight, right? Yeah, <laughs> 1943, I'm happy. Yeah. Especially you know, well, got all that me TV crap on it. I don't want to have a crap watch on antenna. Mm. No, but this really isn't like her to uh, not. I mean, if, if I was home, I think maybe I might have heard from her by now. Well, that's, a, that's, that's the longest time you guys have been separated. Not, not more than a couple weeks. More than a couple weeks. Like I said, I mean, I ain't gonna even do that restraining order thing. I was. You know, staying there off and on. Yeah. Uh, I try to rent a room off my buddy down there on Matthews, but that situation down there is just horrible. What ain't enough for a bunch of junkies? And I just, okay, I don't want to be around that. You know, so I would be back and forth, you know, from the parents in the house. Uh, Have you ever had to make the payment to the house? I've always contributed. Well, I mean, have you, like, because you know, one of the times that you were gone or you guys were separated or... No, Rob was yeah. always physically taking it over there or they came and got it. Okay. Uh, normally, well, paying was your payee is what you call it. Mm -hmm. We take care of our money up till, uh, 
probably six, eight months ago, maybe longer than that. It's been longer than a year. I said, I'm not good with, with dates, but it's been less than a year she's been handling her own money. She's been handling her own money? Yeah, and usually, well, Pam got in a bad accident. I don't know if, how she's doing it now. She was in a wheelchair for a while. Her daughter, my niece Stephanie, would come get it, or um, Robin would just take it over to her house. As far as well, you've never had to take the money out to go get the check and take over no, yourself. Uh, no, they told, you know, after my mom passed, I proceeded to call both sisters and told them exactly how I thought, what I thought about them. You know, it's just, you, you don't treat elderly people the way they did, especially parents. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And the only reason I bit my tongue over the years was because of my mom. Keep the peace, and then there really wasn't any reason um, to keep the peace. That but well, when she got real sick, you know, somebody from the family had to move in to take care of her, and nobody was willing or had the time or wanted to do it but me, you know. And I basically moved in with her over there at Presser Towers for the last three months, and she died. So, two days before Christmas. Yeah, that's terrible, man. Terrible. Always tough to lose a parent, no doubt. Um, were you talking to Sergeant Ross? Did he ask you for your DNA? Do you remember? Did you remember him sticking a Q-tip in your mouth? No. No. Would you, would you give us your DNA? Would that be all right? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. What do you, what do you need to do? Sign that right there for me, if you don't mind. Oh, you can stand up, Dave, if you need to. Um, Man, uh, I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no, we, I have five prison numbers, so I'm pretty sure you guys have. Oh well, we're just gonna redo because they like but, to have new stuff. Know, that's in all. the same breath, I've been out of trouble since 2001. Well, well shit, that's pretty good. Well, I didn't, you know, I didn't, I didn't uh, even look you up. I can't, I can't, you can't tell by no. Like, uh, this is his drive and stuff. But. You can sit back. Um, I didn't even look my, you up. My, my, whole, my whole problem was, you know, doing drugs. Is that what you went to prison for? Yeah, every time. Drugs? Yeah. No, they're trying. I, mean, to, I don't have anything crazy on. They're me. trying to decriminalize drugs. So. Of course, it doesn't matter now because you don't do it anymore, right? So up real quick. Um. Yeah, I took that sheet to carry. I think she she claimed she could work on where it came from. Okay. Oh, well, how is uh? Because some I thought I heard somebody called Robin something else. Well, I think Robin's her middle name. Right? Brea. Her first her first name is Martha. Martha. Robin. Robin's her middle name. Okay. She always goes by Robin. And you said, what's your sister's name? My sister is Pam. 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 What's her last name? Steely. Steely. Okay. Because I know when Randy went over there to get the dog, he seen my niece over there. Who is that? Um, Stephanie, which is Pam's daughter. So. The only thing I could think of is she didn't make the last house payment because they don't they don't come around unless it's there's a money issue. Yeah. Period. You know, period. That's the only time they ever did. Do you know how much the payment is? Uh, with taxes and insurance, it was I want to say three fifty, three sixty, okay. or something like that. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. She always took care of that. And, you know, what I paid in utilities was always, you know, three fifty, four hundred bucks. So it's pretty much an even thing. Okay. So we we never went down to the nickel and dime. You know, well, I paid twenty dollars more this month, or you did. You know, I mean, it was, it was never like that. Because you said your own responsibilities. And yeah, I mean, she took care of the house, though, because you know, at the end of the day. 
you know, our agreement was the house was going to be put in our name. As far as I know, uh, I think it is now, as of three or four months ago. Because I know the water bill's in her name. The only way you can have a water bill in your name is the title's in your name. Right. The deed has to be in your name. Yeah. Because she was afraid I wanted to will it to somebody in my family. Well, I don't have any family. You know, I'm like, I don't have no problem with that. You know, will it to your grandson, Wesley. I mean, everything was fine as far as that goes. I built a tree house out back. We had, you know, a trampoline, all that good stuff for the kid. I was, you know, uh, willing to him. I, you know, I don't care. I don't. Uh, even if I did get along with them, I mean, both my sisters are pretty. They're not rich, but you know, they don't want for anything. So I don't think any of their siblings are going to uh, worry about having any more to stay. Right. You know what I mean? As far as me. Want to will the house anyway, but that was never an issue with me. But being schizophrenic, everything. Not the she over, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's longer. By the time I figured she was off her medication, it was kind of too late. And I tried, I don't know, three or four times over the last couple of years to get her the three day evaluation or whatever they call it. Yeah. You know, the police would come out, the paramedics, and she'd be standing on the porch, you know, screaming at him, screaming at me. And I'm like, you know, they told me she don't fit the criteria for the evaluation. Well, well what does? You can't be homicidal. I was, I was like, do I, do I, does she homicidal have to stab me suicide. in my sleep or do something, you know, really crazy? Um, yeah. And they say, well, she's an adult, we can't take her medication, so why don't you leave? I'm like, and I always did. I didn't. I never argued with them. But I was like, you know, why do I get punished every time? You know, she goes off her medication. But you know, over the years, I, I just, I had a lot of understanding to her illness, and you know, just you have to over, overlook a lot of it. You know, because once they get something set in their mind, I mean, that's, that's just how it is. You know, you just gotta let them air it out, or you know, whatever the term. You said tomorrow was her birthday, Ron's birthday? Yeah. So she, is she a big birthday girl? I mean, does she like to celebrate it? Her family celebrate it? No, they're, her family's Jehovah's Witness. They don't celebrate really? the days and holidays. Okay. To my understanding, they never did. I don't even think she got as much as a birthday card ever since we've been together, her family. Maybe once or twice from her daughter, Kim. Maybe twice. Is her daughter a Jehovah's Witness also? I don't think so. Um, I think she was practicing and going with Robin periodically a few years ago, but as of late, I don't think so. No. I mean, even with Robin, it was a random thing. You know, she would be hot and heavy into it for a couple of months, and then you know, when hear another word, go to church. For All right. Her hands, you know? Sorry. All right, how are we doing in here? Uh, she's a Jehovah's Witness. She didn't celebrate her birthday. I'm asking if the birthday would be. If she's like a big birthday girl, like to really? celebrate, or the family like to celebrate. And you're saying no? No, I don't ever. I don't ever remember her mom and dad ever sending her a card. Said maybe once or twice from Kim over the years. That's been it. You well, said, you said Randy had act. You got your key. Does he still have the key? I mean, you've been out of the house for a few days. And we went over there and knocked. I didn't know maybe we could check to see if he had the key, if we could go over there and look for him. When they, when they arrested me, yeah. that day, I let, I mean, I was fully cooperative. I let both officers come in and go okay. through the house top to bottom. All right. Uh, they spent, you know, everything. Um, you know, at that point, I didn't know anything was even an inkling of being wrong. Right, it's her family who's had this inkling, you know. So. Right. Well, um, we're just trying to make sure we satisfy our boss. Because, you know, we, your, right, boss, I mean, can, your I, boss can make your life hard. I uh, know. So, you know, I, I get a little emotional right now. It's just, you know, with, with the neighbor and all that, it's just so... <clears throat> No, yeah, we appreciate it, but I don't know what to say. We appreciate your time and cooperation, and, and I can uh, see that obviously you, you care just, very much about Robin, right? You love her, right? Oh, yeah. 16 years, long ass time. 
Um, Did you ever celebrate her birthday with her? Oh, yeah. I mean, go out to dinner. Uh, she liked to gamble, uh, the skill game things. Oh, okay. I think, I think, the, I think, seven, the seven reel, yeah, the yeah, sevens. Yeah, that was, she loved her. Her and my mom, that was, that was their thing, you know. So when I get a few extra bucks or, you know, the holiday or birthday or whatever, you know, here, go do that. Or, you know, She's a Jehovah's Witness, with huh? Are you a Jehovah's Witness? No. Oh, are no. you anything? Sorry, I'm a bit. No, I mean, no. they, I wouldn't say they pressured me. You know, I, they even come over and had their meetings there. The Jehovah's? Yeah, oh. uh, they, they call it a study or whatever, right. which I, I had no problem with. They were yeah. really, really nice people. Right. And when, you know, the couple times I talked to them, I was like, you know, no thanks. It's, right. Uh, right. It's not my time right, right now. And I didn't, I didn't want to say it. You know, even if I do get religious, I don't think it's going to be with you people. <laughs> were you something um, when you were a kid or anything? I mean, did you go to church or did you have some basic no, or not, understanding? Nothing. Not no. really. I mean, uh, I, I believe in higher power, absolutely. But uh, as far as it's something I normally do now. The Jehovah's can be a bit much, you know. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I applaud anyone that believes up, in some kind of religion. I'm all for it. I grew up in Magador, and they had a big kingdom hall right on the Magador there, and they'd always be knocking on people's doors all the time. I think that's why they got a bad rap. I don't, I don't know. Um, I mean, this is America. You can do what you want. I agree. As far as it goes. I agree. Uh, as long as you're not keep trying to cram it down my throat, I don't care what you're doing. <laughs> I agree with that too. Um, did you guys but, celebrate last year? Yeah, I believe we, we went gambling out there right across from Home Depot. Uh, it's called the Palms. Mm -hmm. uh, they get them all shut down. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I think they are all shut down. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of glad that sometimes I didn't go there. You know, when I lose, I'm a poor sport. Yeah. I mean, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> you know, I, but I would never, I mean, I've always basically been pretty poor my whole life anyway. It's always been a struggle keeping paying the bills this or that or the other. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I've, I've broken both legs, both arms. You know, I'm lucky I'm not in a wheelchair from my last accident falling off a ladder in the house. But, I mean, that's why I get disability now. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, on a good day, I can, you know, walk normally like anybody else, but that's about it. That's when they had me in that holding cell back there. Yeah. I thought I was about to seize up. I'm oh, sorry it so took cool. so long. I think they, you're right. the only one, so I think they'll take you back as soon as we're done. Because so. I'm thinking I, I didn't have anything else in court. I know I didn't do right. anything else wrong. <laughs> it's just easier <laughs> It's easier for us to get you over here instead of because the patrol guys are so busy. So, um, yeah, I mean, they're, you know, obviously her family is real worried about her and loves her a lot, and I can see that you love her a lot, right? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, right. well, Dave, I think there's some little piece missing here, bud. That's what I think. Um, and I, I, I think you'd feel better if you just told us what it is. I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't know what to say. Well, I, I think I there's a little bit more to the story, Dave, that you're not giving us. I don't, there's nothing else I can tell you. I mean, I've told you everything I know. Well, I don't <laughs> think you told us everything. Man. Okay, well, I have. Well, Dave, I mean, you told us you believe in a higher power. Don't you think you'd feel better if you told us the truth, Dave? I mean, let it go and... You're not going to be able to celebrate her birthday tomorrow, Dave. Yeah, it'd probably be easier to celebrate her birthday tomorrow if we had the truth out there about what happened. I mean, her daughter, you said her, her daughter, her grandchild... Her what? I said her daughter, her grandchild, you said she got a grandchild? Yeah, a grandson. Her parents... I think you really feel better if you just let it go and tell us the rest of the story. I don't. That's, that's all I can tell you guys. Mm. Okay. I, you know, like I say, you know, the, the, last, the last couple of months, you know, everybody was getting really uh, up in the air. Huh? Did I ever see? Well, we can talk about it. I have her doing that, but I can go get it. We can do that. Yeah. Look, let's talk to our boss real quick. We want to make sure he's satisfied. And then, if there's anything else I could help you out with, I would. Okay. Believe me. Okay. Well, we're going to talk to our boss real quick. Make sure he's satisfied with what's going on. Mm hmm. 
Mm. There's one thing that was mentioned. This is like a we're gonna we're gonna see if we thoroughly fully believe you or not, Dave. We're gonna have a little exercise if you play along with us. Tester, if you would, could you grab that pen for me? Yeah. yeah. And write your sister's name like five times. Twenty. Twenty times. Twenty. Is that the magic number? building, Dave. Like I said, it's, it runs, it actually, if you really want to know, it runs, this building is connected to the, the steam plant, the Akron steam plant down by the zoo, the archaic way that we heat and cool, um, we heat and cool buildings, and it's pretty much this building is either freezing ass cold or sweating ass hot. Um, I was going to just ask you one more thing, just to make sure they're happy. Can you do it on the line and just maybe skip every other box and just do like the two rows? Dave, let me ask you a question. And I appreciate your honesty. You've been very cool and cooperative and everything else. Are you a heartless bastard? Uh -huh. A heartless, cold bastard. No. No. Okay. So you wouldn't want people to think that about you, right? That you're just a heartless, cold bastard, right? No, I don't. Okay. There, there's some pieces missing to your story, Dave. And, and, and this, why we had you write this out, is the key. So, because that's your handwriting. It's just that, that you just wrote your sister's name to me. I brought it back. The problem, Dave. Problem. There's a problem is this is August. And as you know, that is your girlfriend, the love of your life, Robin's handwriting. I said August. That was last month. That is September, where you paid the rent so we can keep up this farce that Robin is still around. Correct? Okay, I've done this. I've done this numerous times before. Okay. Well, you told me earlier you've never done it. So you think you've never asked me if I've gotten a money order for her. He did ask you this. I did when, ask you if you ever made the payment. Yeah. So Dave I did I did make the payment. Here I went and got the money order and gave it back to her. Here's the question. Never done it. Here's the You're question. You didn't even know how much it was. Here's the question. You're saying you didn't even know how much it cost. You did say <laughs> Before Are you a heartless, no good no. bastard? Are you, you a heartless, you never asked no me if good I went and did bastard? That. Okay. He did ask you. He did if, ask if, if I made the payment to my sister, I never made the payment to my sister. I went down, I walked down to Speedway and got this for Robin. I've done it That's for numerous, happened, numerous times. That's not what happened, Dave. Okay. You paid it, so we keep up this mirage that Robin is still around. And the answer is, 
Do you want to be a heartless bastard? Or do you want some clothes? You want to, you want to be able to claw I'm with your you, lives? I'm telling you what I did. Well, tell us what you did. You're not telling that's, us what you did. That's, that's tell what us what I, you that's, really did. That's what I did. Because for whatever reason, she didn't like walk down there or whatever from time to time. Dave, and I walked down there and got the money order at Speedway. Okay? <laughs> They're from Speedway. I know where it's from. Dave, that is complete bullshit, dude. Oh, okay. That is not. That is complete bullshit. You said you'd never done that. You did that to keep I up never the farce that Rob is sister. still alive. I never made the payment to my sister. You did. That's your handwriting. Okay, I filled it out for okay. her. So what? Okay. I, fi I filled it out. Because it's just another it. loop in the story that doesn't count, Dave. Why don't you I tell don't us the truth it. about what happened to Robin? Between, Between you and Robin, everything I know. Between you and Robin, Robin can go up to heaven... <laughs> Look, and be left alone. I and told you, you can I, you can get it off of your heart and soul. I'm trying to see if you have a heart and soul. I told you everything I know, no, and I've done this us. more than one. I've done this more than you one or two us. times. You didn't tell us. Uh, throughout the eight years, we've been making the payments to her. Tell us the part about destroying her phone, being on her phone, pretending that you're her. Oh God. Tell us I, about I, that. I don't part. have her phone. Where's her I phone? I did. I don't know. You know where her phone. No, I don't. You put it. We found it where you put it. Why don't you just tell us the truth? What happened? Dude? You'll feel I, better. Did you guys share a bedroom? Better. I don't have. A phone. Did you guys share a bedroom? At one time, yeah. Which bedroom? Front bedroom. I just, what color are your bed sheets? I don't know. I think they're black. What color are your pillowcases? Brown, I think. Uh, they don't match. I don't know. I've gone down there numerous times. Uh, not every time. Just depend on how she feels. I think you'd really feel better, Dave, if you told the truth. You let it go. I've sat in this room. He sat in this room. We talked to people. And it's like... Because <sighs> otherwise... Otherwise, people who would look at this... Look at this event and say that you, Dave, are a heartless, no-good bastard who put the love of your life in the ground. And that has to be an evil, bad person who has to go away for every last day of their life. Every last day. So, Dave, are you that person? Or are you the person that has struggled with someone who's, as you said, for 16 years, you love her, but she's schizophrenic, and she goes here, and she goes there? Because there's no reasonable person, Dave, in the world that wouldn't believe that you harmed Robin. We all know that three of us sitting in this room. You should just get it off your chest, man. I've told you everything I know. Well, you haven't told it. The heat of the moment. Yeah. Did you plan it out? Can't plan anything out. Yeah. So it was the heat of the moment then. I have nothing else to say. I told you everything I know. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. Who's the, the last time? Who's the last time you had a fire in the backyard? I don't know. A month or so. A month or so. No, uh, maybe not that long. Maybe not that long. A week ago, two weeks ago, middle of August, late August. I know, we had them back there all the time. Who's we? Me and Ron, usually. When was, the last time, when was the last time you had a fire back there? Well, maybe less than a month, Ron. Less than a month. Hmm. You've been staying, there, there's no way around this. No, we're going to get there on the loop. One way you've, or been, you've been staying there. <clears throat> no, we're not. Well, you've been staying there and you had to put up this sh charade that Robin was still around and she wasn't because she was in the hole that you put her in. Now, again, you're either a heartless, cold blooded son of a bitch or this whatever. Is, Something is, spun out of control and you're like, well, fuck, what do I do now? Which is what most people say after they do something horrible like that. You're scared, you gotta do something. And then you or have to reckon you... with the fact that the person you've loved for 16 years more than anything in the world is gone. 
was it natural? You were just afraid that someone would think you did something, you had to do something to get rid of it. Were you just doing it so you could spend her money because times are hard. You have to have one income now. Nobody's going to believe you. It's true. I hadn't thought about that. When you pretend to keep up the charade to some. Is someone still alive by using her phone and you get rid Today's of Today's the day to tell your true story. It is the day to tell the true story. And whether you're a heartless bastard who needs put away for every day of the rest of their lives, or if it's something that's spun out of control and then you're like, well, fuck, I can't call the police. What do I say? What do I do? I don't know where to go. I don't know what to do. But I know that I, the person I love more than anything in the world is gone. So, you know. You're used to having two incomes and you can't live with one income and... Maybe it was a heart attack, and you had to do something, and you're just... And people, the guy with Barbara just did that, and his mom. Sure. I just got my disability a year or so ago. I mean, we've struggled with less, way less than that. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, so it's not the money thing. I have nothing else to say. I told her that, you know. Well, you didn't tell us everything, you know. No, you didn't tell us how and why you killed her. Again, was it an argument? It was the heat of the moment, passion, and then you're like, well, fuck, what do I do? Or you're a heartless bastard who fucking killed the woman you claim she loved more than you. anything you in the world. You defend yourself. Right. And you, you said she's schizophrenic. You said you never put your hands on her before. Did she ever put her hands on you? No. No? She has her daughter, she has her grandson, she has her... Tomorrow is her fucking birthday. Tomorrow is her birthday for them to sit there and reflect. Yes. On the things that they had to see, the things they had to do. That you just... The agony they've been going through for the last month. Heartlessly killed the woman you love more than anything in the world. It's, 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 it's mind-boggling to think about it. Something that you said you were going to do. Yeah, and if you said you were going to kill anybody, you'd bury him in the fire pit. I mean, it seems kind of convenient. So. I never told anybody that. You never told anybody that? Dave, we're not fucking stupid, dude. You think we're going to make that up? I'm not making anything up. You think I made this up? We know everything. We know the answers to questions we ask, man. I'm trying to get you to say that you're not an evil, no good bastard, and that there are some extenuating circumstances that you killed the woman you love, pretended that she was alive for over a month. I mean, I because if you just look at it, fires on top of her. If you just look, yeah, if you look at it, you're like that has to be a heartless, cold bastard that wrapped this woman up like that and put her in this fire pit. So. Went all through life, had bonfires. And tomorrow's her birthday. Tomorrow's her birthday. It might be time to let that go. Her I think everyone will feel better. Her daughter, whether they're estranged or not, this has got to be tough. You only have one mom, especially if you never forgave her. She never has a chance to forgive her now. It's true. Her parents, how old were her parents? I don't know. Old. They both have heart problems. Nothing. Wondering why. Give us the answer so we can try to take away some of their, ease some of their pain. I think you feel better yourself, really. I know it sounds goofy, but I'm telling you, I've talked to a lot of people and they're like, oh. It's a huge relief. Oh. Or you're a no good heartless bastard. I mean, there's the two options, I guess. It's kind of weird. But, you know, I guess how you want to be seen is up to you, Dave. How you want to be portrayed. Yeah, really. Remember. Plus, then you have to look at, you know, again, people are going to look at you and say, well, what should we do with Dave? You know? Six to nine months down the road. Heartless bastard, he should be locked up for every last breeze, breath of his life. Or there was some extenuating part of the circumstance when you live with a woman who's psych, uh, psych problems and everything else. You know, but I don't think any reasonable person who saw how Robin ended up is going to want to give you the benefit of the doubt 
without knowing how and why. Because that's a shitty lot in life to end up like that. And I think you can agree with that. And you will be silenced after today. No matter what you want to say. Today is the day. Today is the day for what? Your story to come out. And literally let it go and feel better. Get it off your chest. About the truth of what you could do to the woman you love so much. For her birthday. Mm. I didn't realize that until you said it. Had to have been on your mind, you know. You know what you did. Heartless bastard killed the woman he loved. further prove that Dave's a heartless fucking bastard or there's some other part of the story. If Robin was here, what would you say to her? I have nothing else to say to you. What would you say to Robin? You don't have to say it to me, say it to Robin. Prove everybody wrong.
downstairs. Tell where he did them. 52. Got a lot of years left. Yeah, I doubt that. How old was your mom? 87. 87? How old did your how old was your dad? 62. How are we doing in here? We got a uh, picture. A picture of? Something they can print out. Of today? Mm-hmm. Sure. Email it to Schmeagle, maybe have a print. Yeah, I got it right now. Yeah. I'll do that right now. That was the uh, thing that Bowen was working on. I took it upstairs. That's why I did it. All right. Hey, Aaron. Hey. Oh, I can show it to him. No, he said all right. Do you want to see a picture, Dave? No, I don't need to see a picture. You know what you did. All right. Go ahead, Dave. You want me to go ahead? I need a cigarette. I, uh, tell us what you're going to tell us. Now you can have a cigarette. I'll give you a cigarette. Yeah, I need a cigarette. Okay, well, you're going to tell us what you're going to tell us, then I'll give you a cigarette. I'll give you two. But we're... we're we'll, we'll stay downstairs. I'll let you... Go ahead, get it off your chest, Dave. You'll feel better. I swear to God. I ain't trying to be funny. I don't even know why I snap these back on, but he's unloosened back off again. Okay, so what do you want, Dave? Explain it to me. Just uh, take these loosenings off again. Okay. So, You're not going to take a swing at us, are you? No. It's not your fault. Okay. No. I don't think it's anybody's fault necessarily. Things go awry in life. If it wasn't so early during the daytime, I'd let you smoke right now. But we can't do that in the building with. We have to take you downstairs with the bosses. The bosses. Man, we smoke in the building. You, so you tell you tell us what's going on. You tell us what's going on, Dave. So we know you're not a heartless bastard. And I promise you can smoke all you want. All right. Well, not, all not all you want. Not all you want. But well, we <laughs> caught the reason why. Get it off your chest, Dave. Oh, you feel better. Man. I mean, you guys feel a little bit better already, just knowing that you're going to make that decision. I didn't mean to fucking do it. I didn't. I didn't mean for it to end up like that. No, it's not a very... I didn't. I'm not a fucking vicious person like that. It's not a very respectful way for a person I, to end up. I know it's not. I got fucking scared, man. I'm really scared. All right. Just... Oh, God, man. I understand being scared. No doubt about that. So what was it, David? An argument just, or something oh God, or what? Army just, she called the police on me again for no reason. I mean, really, no reason at all. And I just, I just snap, man. I just fucking snap. <laughs> what was the argument over? Because uh, we you know, had argued the day before, and I, I had left just to try and keep the peace. She just kept accusing me of fucking cheating on her and cheating on her, and I fucking wasn't doing it. So she the, just the day before and then the day she called the cops on you? Yeah. Tell us about that. I, I don't even know what the argument was even about. I don't know even what it was about. Right. Well, I didn't mean to do this or I did man. I love her. Love her. I believe that. Sixteen years is a long time. Why did you just have to say Oh, God, man. You just got scared. That's why you put her in the fire pit? And... I, I dug it out. Okay. I didn't know. I, I didn't burn her up. I... Well, what happened, Dave? What happened between you and Robin? She just kept yelling at me again in my face. And I just... Okay. I hit her. I don't even... She had... Where were you guys at? He was upstairs. In the bedroom or in the yeah. little hallway right there? In the bedroom. And you said you hit her? Yeah. 
Did you hear it was your fist or was it something else? She had a, um, just like half an axe handle or something beside the bed. She had it there for a long time, just thinking to protect herself. I just, I don't know, just snap, I don't know why. So you <laughs> struck her with the half an axe handle? Yeah, I don't, I don't even know how many times I just... Okay. <sighs> okay. After you struck her... I, ch I choked her up. Choked her. <laughs> it was over quite within two minutes. Did you use over. something to choke her or did you use your hand? It's a piece of... Um, I got so scared I, I knew she was gone. I thought. Did I, got you a, I got a piece of rope. Put a stick on it and try to make sure she was dead. God. Guys, I'm fucking sorry, bro. How long? How long She's this? just so relentless fucking. How long did this so take? She leave me alone, man. She knew I had nowhere to go. She just kept on me, on me. I give her every dollar I had for whatever she wanted. I never had nothing in my pocket, man. Nothing. It was never good enough. What happened after Robin was dead? I took her off back and I dug it out. I don't know, a couple feet. And I threw her down in there and covered her back up. <laughs> Did you do anything to... Robin, before you uh, you put her in there? As far as what? I mean, did you put her in anything? Was she dressed? She was. was she is, had her night clothes on. And her, I think I used the blanket that was there. God. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't plan on doing it. She, you know, she was. Do you remember she what woke, this was? She woke me up out of my sleep. Said the police are on their way. Right, you know, I run out of the house. And they they came. I was I hid in the backyard behind the fences. So they left. And I went back in. I'm like, why you got to keep doing this to me? Why you got to keep trying to get me in trouble? And I just flipped out. Because she was pu I'm, pushing your buttons, pushing your buttons, man. Just pushing your buttons. It wasn't just that day. It's been on going, been on. on going. Well, eventually the idea. levee breaks, right? Eventually the levee broke. breaks. I broke. Fucking broke, man. Yes. <laughs> and I knew it was wrong with what I did where I put her. <laughs> yeah? And I just was so fucking scared, man. I didn't know what to do. I, I can see that. Have you talked to be afraid of the people that are good liars. What am I going to be charged with? Well, that's the question for. We have to go talk Charles to a lawyer about that. Oh, I, mean, I, I didn't. I didn't plan on this to happen. I did. Spur the moment. I was so bad with her. I really did, man. Spur the moment. <laughs> Well, you know, all the time she called the police on me. There's a lot of calls to the police. Nothing, 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 nothing was ever proven. I never later put a scratch on her till that night. I, mean, I swear to God, I did. I believe you. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And half the times I wasn't you, even there when she called. What were you thinking when <laughs> this was going on? How much trouble it would be. Well, I mean, when when you were when you had to hit her, what were you thinking? I don't know. I, just, I don't even know. I don't even remember grabbing the thing and hitting her the first couple times. I don't know how many points. Um, you said oh, you had, did you have to make something to to wrap around her, or was it already? Well, make sure I wasn't sure if she was dead. It's, when I come back upstairs with that thing. I was make, just kind of was creeped out. Just yeah. I just wanted to make sure she wasn't suffering no more. She, okay. she was dead. 
Because I knew it was probably too late then. I was but it's like a, sure she wasn't suffering. I, can, I know it is. I can't think what it's called. A piece, of, a piece of rope, you put a stick know. on it, and you use the stick to tighten it, I right, know. Dave? Yeah. Like a tur- I, I, that's, I don't know. Like a tourniquet, I guess. To kind of reverse. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. I mean, I didn't. I went outside. Well, did you know that if you had to make it, or is it something that you just found? I, I went outside and I made it. Use like a stick and sheet and pillowcase. You use like a stick and rope or to make. I mean, everything was up in the bedroom except for that piece of rope. Okay, so you had to make something to wrap around her neck to make sure she was dead. Yeah. Okay. And the sheet and the pillowcase because you don't want to look at her, which I can understand. I, it's a good bear to look at her face. Did you tie her? Did you tie the whole package up with anything or something so she would stay inside of the the I blanket? Think I, I think I tried to. I so I was so to. panicked. Sure. I mean, I don't remember. I might have. I don't remember. Okay. I probably, like, possibly did. Okay. Oh, uh, my God, man. <laughs> anything else you want to tell us, Dave, right now? What about anything? You no. Know? no. I think you what feel happened? better. I think you'll feel better. I think no, you feel I mean, better right now. I sounds bad, but I mean, what happened with my dog? Your buddy's, your buddy's still got your dog. You're supposed to. You should still have one. I love my dog, man. I don't feel bad about it. It doesn't sound strange to me. I love my dog as much as I love my children. <laughs> so I had my dog before I had my children. Right. <laughs> well, Dave, we're going to put those handcuffs back on you and put you over on the other side of the room. And then... Well, we're running downstairs. And have a I mean, down if you want to, that's fine. Have a puff down there in the basement. Then we'll bring him back up, put him in the room, and have a... I got a call. CT and tell them what we're doing. So, let me go check if you want. Maybe put them in the cuffs and I'll go check the desk and see if we got one available. One what? lighter and we'll run them down oh, to the basement. And I'll run them down there. I'll have somebody grab yeah, them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no sir, 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 has them. They yeah. give you no trouble. I didn't think you were. I didn't really think you were going to take some of me. I just had to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> Crazier things happen. Crazier things have happened. Crazier things did happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think you feel better though. I really do. Well, let me go grab. Uh, let me go grab you a cigarette. I'll grab you two. Sir, we'll show us some of the stuff. Sure, that's why I, was, I know he's been kind of low. So I'm oh, be all right. Before. God, man. Everybody thinks I'm fucking horrible. No, 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 I think a better man. Not a horrible person, man. A better man comes off the truth, Dave. <laughs> a better man comes off the truth about what happened. God, did you know? I didn't mean to fucking do it, man. I believe that. <laughs> Don't fall down. I believe that. I believe that one hundred percent. You don't even care no more. Well, you, you know, still gotta care about yourself, dude. No, I'm pretty sure I already have liver cancer. They told me. Two pulls. I have cysts on my liver. I still went back to get a check after my last hernia surgery. Well, I just have to check it out. Nothing. I don't want to. There's always another day. There's always a second chance in life, Dave. There's always another day. I firmly believe that. Oh, I took it with I don't deserve one. No, that's not true. I don't deserve one. That's not true. It's the heat of the moment, man. <laughs> you want to make a phone call? Oh, Woodmar will head down there with me. Okay. Do whatever we gotta do. Yeah. Come on, oh, we're gonna go. We're gonna go to the You a full flavor kind of guy? Yeah. All right, good. Hopefully, you don't pick up enough moments, maybe. On March 27, 2019, David Callahan pleaded guilty to murder tampering with evidence, gross abuse of a corpse, and domestic violence. He was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 18 years. Thank you all so much for watching. We have a lot more on the way, so make sure you're subscribed, and we will see you in the next one.